Welcome to Burn to Learn, everybody. This is Rod Davis, and in this video tutorial, we're going to teach you each step to follow to install Microsoft Outlook 2016. First, open your browser. We use Google Chrome. And then go to www.office.com forward slash my account. Now we are at the sign in page for Microsoft uh, Outlook 2016. You need to now put in your email or phone number and your password. Once you're comfortable that that's correct, click on the sign in button. And your page is loaded. And you're now at the next page where on the top left you need to click the orange install button to install Office 365. Once you click this, it takes you to the next page where you click the orange button for a second time to install. Now we have three things to do. First, we need number one to click the setup, which then puts a setup action button at the bottom left of your screen. Click that setup button, and when you click that, it asks you, do you want Microsoft Office? You should answer that yes. Now you're staying online, and depending upon your connection speed, this connection can be made immediately or can take up to two hours. Since we're training, we made it immediate, so our installation is complete. Okay, now that we've installed Microsoft, now let's open Outlook. Go back to our screen, click on our Windows, and find Office Outlook, and there it is, Outlook 2016. We click on that, so click the Next button. Here we're asked, do we want to configure with another email? And the answer is yes, so we click Next. And here's where we put in the email address that we want to configure with my Outlook 2016. We're going to put in our Burn to Learn as our name, and Burn to Learn training at gmail.com as our email address. Now we're going to put in our password two times. Now if you have something other than a standard email server, you can click the manual process. Otherwise, it's automatic. So you click next and everything looks fine. And we click finish. And now congratulations. We have now not only opened Outlook, we have configured it with the email address that we want to use. First things first, we have to accept this. As you can see, we have configured with our Gmail account. Now, if you would like a real training on how to configure with your email manually, you should check out video too. Until then, have fun.